Hi, this is Kim from Emerging Creatively Tutorials. So usually you're used to me doing jewelry tutorials and jewelry videos, but today I have a little something different to show you. So if you're not interested in anything but learning how to make jewelry from me, then you have complete permission to skip this video and I'll have a new jewelry making tutorial for you in no time. But today I wanted to show you the art journal that I just put together. So, I've been keeping an art journal, oh, for a while, and usually, um, this is kind of, I always use these art journals, and you'll see it's spiral, and I, I like these, I like the size, I like the portability, but I have been finding it frustrating um, that I want to be able to move my pages around, and obviously you can't do that with the spiral notebook. So, and I've also had some ideas, I've been seeing some things on Pinterest and stuff like that, where people have all kinds of different papers in their uh, art journals or their, you know, different kinds of books they make. So I've been thinking about it, I've been thinking about maybe sewing my own together, that sort of thing, but what I really want is to be able to move my pages around. So I had this idea, I actually had it um, while I was sleeping, um, I don't know where the idea came from except for the fact that I use binders a lot anyway, and I have a lot of paper around. Um, I actually do scrapbook, or actually I don't really scrapbook anymore. I've been scrapbooking basically all my life. I think I started in fourth grade, um, and then I kind of stopped for several years, and now I've been doing it again, but actually I've been doing project life and not actual like scrapbook layouts. Um, but I have been liking having all the different papers and stuff again, and I really love the whole binder idea. So this binder is actually a binder I already had, and it is small. It's about half the size of a normal uh, binder you'd find like, at an office supply store. I actually got this at Target. So the paper that fits inside of it is, um, would be eight and a half by five and a half. So you would just, you know, split it in half, like an eight and a half by 11, you'd split in half, obviously. That's where I got the number from. <laughs> and then, um, I just punched some paper. So punched some holes in some paper. So I'm just going to show you a couple things and give you a couple ideas. So this is the binder, um, and it's a good size. I like this size, and I think the design is cute. But um, obviously I can decorate this more. And then I have a whole variety of different papers in here. Um, different things I've collected and kept. And then a lot of just blank cardstock in here as well. So the idea is to gather up ephemera different pieces of paper, things maybe you've collected, um, or maybe you want to start collecting, and, you know, just take your hole puncher and punch holes in it and add them to your book. And right now, um, I did kind of, just kind of randomly put them in an order, but the awesome thing, that it's a binder, so you obviously can open it up and switch it around. So maybe I feel like using a certain paper on one day, I can pull it out. The other cool thing is, and I have I have only one actual completed page in here, which is this one. The other cool thing is that would frustrate me about other art journals is when I would paint in them, the paint kind of gets everywhere and it's a mess, and that's fine for the most part. But this kind of gives you the option of not having that mess. So um, I actually took this page out and worked on it and then let it dry, and then stuck it back in, and it worked out great. So I think it's a general idea, but I'll just give you a couple ideas. So I just had a bunch of cardstock that was 8.5 by 11, and this was all left over from my scrapbooking days. That's the size I actually scrapbooked, 8.5 um, by 11. Um, but so I just took that and cut, them, cut a bunch in half. I have different colors and a bunch of white. You can just get cardstock, you know, at any, like, place, you know, like Target or at, um, stationery stores, that sort of thing. Or you can, if you want to add color paper in, you can get that at scrapbook stores or craft stores. After I did that, I just used a sheet of paper that I had that's notebook paper that I put in. And this has too many holes, so I also <laughs> marked which holes I wanted to that lined up. And then I just used this as a template and poked holes in everything. 
And then I also gathered up some other things that I wanted to use. Like I have a collection of old library cards that would be cool to make some little tiny art on. Spingle card. I have lots of sheet music, old sheet music. And then some little scrapbook pages. And then another idea. Um, I have kept um, from an old calendar um, from one of my favorite books. It was a calendar based on one of my favorite books, uh, series of books, Griffin and Sabine. And I love the artwork. So I had kept some of the pages. So I stuck them in here. I probably would find this more to be inspiring than to be something I would actually, you know, paint over or something. But, you know, who knows? Maybe I will. And then I just have some other things. I'll probably put some more maps in. This is actually from an old address book um, that had maps in it. But I prob I have some old maps. Not old as in valuable old, but just old as in old um, that I'll probably put in. And then, so I just sort of, these are just in random order in here. But as I want to use something and I get inspired by it, I can pull that page out and work on it and then I can put it back in any order I want. I just want to show you, these, this is like a Project Life card um, that you can get like kits of. If you, if you happen to do Project Life, I wouldn't buy a kit just to do this um, necessarily. But I really liked that card, so I stuck it in. So that's just some ideas for things you could put in. Um, you might be inspired by completely other things. You might want to put some lined paper in to do some writing. Um, anything you come up with. Actually, I'm thinking about, I got some mail. Cutting down my priority mail envelope. And doing that. So that's my... Uh, new art journal that I have put together. I hope you find it inspiring. If it inspires you, um, go ahead and make it. It would be great. Um, and I just want to show you my first page. It's got music, sheet music as a background. It's on cardstock. Um, I just cut some circles. I did paint on some of this. This is music too. And grass and I painted and some of these circles are that I painted. Um, so that was my first page that I worked on and I'm excited to get working on another one. So if you are looking for kind of a more flexible way to art journal and you want to add more uh, pages and variety than just a normal kind of blank book, um, I think this is a great idea. So be creative and have fun. P.S. If you want to see some more shots of some of my pages that I have in here, come on over to my blog at KimberlyKohler.com where I'll have a blog post that will have um, pictures of more examples.